flying paper. Oh, okay. What's the the book thing? Ability. Oh, really? Huh. So you actually learn an ability by picking this up. I guess. That's pretty cool, to be honest. So not only can you find stuff in the world, like or collect key. I wonder. Did I find that? What? Book of knowledge, new ability, mark of death. Abilities menu. Abilities are learned through books of knowledge. They are powerful fighting moves that can be used during battle at the cost of adrenaline. Some abilities are melee based. Others provide range, improved abilities. You can find a second book of knowledge with the same ability as dramatically improved. Uh, in search for wealth, books are often heavily guarded in monasteries. Mark of death, hold to mark sighted enemies, release to let a fly, deadly volley of arrows. That's pretty sick. Oh, okay. Huh. That's actually really funny that we were able to find that. So, I mean, from looking at this, it seems like they want us to, um... I think you can... Your clan is a foul stench, but we are strong, and yes. this? A general merchant? Where is the entrance to your shop? Come, come, don't be shy. Big shop? Made with the finest ingredients. Uh... Are you sure there isn't uh, something else you wanted? Nope. I have to go. See you soon. Where did I read that you find, or where you put your, uh... Confused about where how you uh, equip your stuff. Wait, so you can run around with like nothing? Just like this? Wait, hide? Can you hide it or no? Oh no, you can't. Thing. We got more skill points. Oh, okay. And let's see here. Weird, when you zoom out like that, sometimes you can't uh, zoom back in something. Fascinate high level targets with timing based attack. Locate area. Well, I would assume that go to the highest one, the highest point, maybe. Or maybe not. Oh, wait, you know what? Oh, I forgot about this lab, this. my friend.
Jeez. Should have known. <laughs> known he was going to be like near the bar area. You have just won your heart's desire, Eivor. Yet by the look on your face, you have lost your will to live. Gorm is here with the last of his men. Why does that troll dare show his face? Leave it for another day. We are here under Harald's truce, and Gorm is too weak to try anything bold. Here's a seat stain on his father's trousers. I should wipe him from this world. Not tonight, Eivor. Leave it. Basim. Watch over this one and see that he warms himself with drink. I will find my father and escort him to the longhouse. Trying to see where he can As actually go. Is Hytham well? He will heal, but never fully recover. It is fortunate that you were able to succeed where he failed. My resolve was strong. When you slew Kyotve, did you see a sigil on him? Silver, the size of my palm, bearing the symbol of an ash tree? Take it. Trade it for what you can. I know where Gorm is camped. If you wish to see him without anyone the wiser, there is a trick I can teach you. Already looking for another princess? All right, I'll bite. What do I do? Use your cloak to obscure your face. Blend into the crowd. <laughs> He's already wearing it. Hide in plain sight. That's funny. May you join your brotherhood? A gift of knowledge from a man I hardly know. Is this your way of asking me to join your brotherhood? Not at all. So long as men and women fight to secure honor and freedom, the religions hardly matters to me. I suppose there's no shame in using deception when honor is at stake. And Gorham is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. A few things you should know before you step into his camp. Uh, let me see one thing real quick. So it says I might have actually been able to do. Oh, yeah. I get a world and apparently down here there is a is it yeah foreign so there is a tattoo shop down here already Okay, we'll have to go back there uh, once we finish this off here. Hostile territory is an exercise in subtlety. A hood makes you forgettable, dismissed at a distance. Remain far from watchful eyes, Very and cool. you will be invisible to them. Do not draw blade or hammer, for these and other sudden movements can break your disguise. I like how they finally kind of went back to like an assassin. And in case route. I wasn't clear, you will need to put up your hood for the trick to work. And they, they introduced them fairly quick too. Gorm is there, in the camp ahead. What were you 
you thinking? Drinking mead on an empty stomach? Uh, you have to eat something before drinking that much. How does that go? Huh. Evil! You Arga shit! Take up your weapon and follow me beyond these walls. Let Odin's favor land where it may. You dare not break the king's peace here. So fuck you and your god talk. What say you to that? Ah! <laughs> you can beat me, but you will not kill me. Not under Harald's truce. You are all subject to King Harald's truce. Break his peace and you will be cast out of Alrikstad. I will give you no trouble. You were shat into this world without honor, Gorm. And you will leave as a turd dumped into hell's deepest ditch. <laughs> Keep crowing, Eivor. You only make yourself an easier target. The old thing will have started. I should find Sigurd. Alright, before we do that, uh, wait, do we have a fast travel? Oh, thank God we do. Okay, good. Before we do that, I'm gonna go back down here. In the world, try, uh, they unlock new purchase time at trader settlements, decorations, or longship visuals. Settlement cosmetics. You can decorate your settlement in a variety of unique sculptures and decorate elements. Raven perception, titanium, carry, distrust areas, tattoo, and barber. Oh, no. Really? Wait, so there is a barber shop? Like, actually. Okay, so he is somewhere here. I'm just not exactly sure where. Is this? Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. Oops. I like the patient. Shooting fish with... You point me to some good hunting ground. <laughs> I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills. A worthy chap. There's. I know it's in here somewhere. I just have to find it. Here it is. This guy. I think this is it. Swain. Have Swain. you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Show me yours. Let me have a look. Go ahead. Yes. Tattoo and bar. Customize. Look. Let's fend. Bring them to cosmetic schemes and access a wider variety of styles. So this is... Uh, okay, so you have your hair as well. Huh. Yo, that's sick. I did not know that you could actually do this. Dude. That's so cool.
you could do shaved. The shaved actually looks pretty good, to be honest. Let's try this. That is a different or I have not seen anybody like this yet. <laughs> That's pretty cool though. What if we went like this? I do like the classic hair though. I think that's pretty cool as well. rock this for now need anything else see you later Swain sure huh. uh where do you Valhalla customize ship you need to upgrade your dock road with costs Okay, I think we'll, we'll get that as we continue on, which is cool. All right, let's uh, go back up here and do the next part. At least now we got some tattoos and changed it up a little bit. Something a little bit more unique. If we ever get like a, a different hairstyle or something, I'll equip that for sure as well. Come on, there you go. He's like struggling to jump there. <laughs> giving them if we like this father, black. looks like he's uh great oliver queen they from the tv show like temple. The crops uh have never from arrow tall. <laughs> they buried his ours near ours <laughs> and we get nothing but a muddy river i dream of something greater a vast kingdom of warriors in numbers the world has never seen 
United under one king, one rule. Too much blood has been spilled fighting one another. Today, we unify and turn our blades outward to conquer new lands. And who better to lead us to glory than me? I was blooded before the age of ten, and I led the greatest army Norway has ever seen. But they say a wise king seeks honest counsel, so I ask, who among you rejects this new arrangement? I am not your enemy, King Harald. Yeah, what's going I on, man? be your subject. Tomorrow How you doing, man? we sail for greener shores, and so my kingdom is yours. This saddens me, noble Jor. And does your wife agree? Is she not tired of limping ever westward? My husband and I are as one in this, Lord. We do not limp together. We fly. I'm sad to lose a woman of your spirit, Luvina. But I hold no grudge. May the fates grant you good luck. My king! I offer you my axe and my oath, ironclad. Gorm Kurtveson, you dare show your face in this hall. Did not King Styrbjorn and his son Sigurd rid our lands of your foulness? The Raven Clan dishonored me, great king. They poisoned my father, Kjortvi. They made a mockery of his honorable death. Bakrout, you lie! Hold, Ava. Let it play out. This is a serious charge, Gorm, and a false one at that. My uncle saw your father die. Ava Wolfkist, you are Kjortvi's slayer. This man has slandered your clan. What shall I do with him? Oof. Kill him, banish him, you decide. Banish Exile, him. Lord. Banish him to the wilds where even a slave could kill him with impunity. A wise choice. Death would be too easy a way out. Gorm, I name you Worm and call you Exile. Leave these lands by the next full moon, or I will feed you to the crows myself. That's pretty cool. King Harold, may I speak? The floor is yours, King Stebjörn. My people have held our land since the days when Odin himself walked among us. My kingdom is humble, but we have paid for it in blood. Our victory over Kjotve is proof that we will not lay down without a fight. All here have buried friends, brothers and sisters, sons and daughters. And I, for one, have had my fill of death. Let those who seek war look beyond our shores. If King Harold brings peace, then I am happy to bend my knee to him. What? Oh, shit. What in hell's name are you doing, father? Securing a lasting peace, Sigurd. Our days of fighting are finished. You said nothing of this to me. Not a word. And I will not yield a title that should be mine by right. Then war will continue. Men will die. Villages will burn, you foolish boy. This is our only way towards true peace. You will die a thrall. You drink adult cow. Alone and toothless in a bed of straw. Hey. Forgive my son. Whoa. He is ruled by his emotions. I take no offense, Stebjörn Jarl. And I thank you for your fealty. It is natural to fear chains, to resist it. <laughs> But all things change and all things end. The lessons of Ragnarok are clear. We will speak again soon. She's going crazy. That was an ambush, Lord. Did you know of Stupion's plans? For some days, yes, I did. But it was not at my urging. It was his decision alone. Do you dream of a glorious future, Eivor? A warrior like you would be a boon to my clan. I literally can't stop seeing uh, the guy that plays uh, Air, Oliver Queen. It looks identical to him, honestly. Especially like this in the older seasons of the show. I seek Valhalla. I am bound to Sigurd. I don't know my fate. Uh... I dream of a glorious death. 
but not at the cost of betraying my family. You intrigue me, Wolfkist. Orphan and sibling, warrior and poet. You are many in one, it seems. You know much about me. I have eyes and ears everywhere, as any effective king must. Would you not be one of my ravens? I'm bound to Sigurd, and he to me. But if fate should cross the threats again... I understand. Yet should your fortunes change, you are welcome in my hall. Hey. But let us leave these matters for another time. Tonight we will eat and drink like gods and wake in a kingdom made new. Tonight we feast. Ed, have you been playing uh, Assassin's Creed at all? Or plan on playing it? Or anything? Land too. It's pretty cool. So Arrow's far. colors is already marking his territory. Marking? Gods, he's spraying like a horny pup. Harold may be young, but he's clever. Do not underestimate him. He came of age very quickly. What are you doing? If you wish to have words, come closer. Uh, the one thing that I figured. Whoa, why are they all? They're all here. Jeez. Um. I don't like the way those soldiers watch me. What do you Is see? That? I find it flattering. You think one, you think one will marry you um. and carry you off to the capital? Would he? He would. Oh, maybe that's the. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, that's just saying, like, this thing. I see, I see. Uh, I will say it's better than it looks personally. Um, I was watching like gameplay here and there, like very little. And I was like, eh, okay, like it looks all right. Open the door. And like, I really like Assassin's Creed. Like playing it, completely different. I'm actually very into it. I really like the war so far. Um, it connects to uh, Assassin's Creed pretty good too. So. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kurtve and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate. Today we cower under a cloud of fear. But it need not be like this. We are not the. How do you do the. Let's see. Controls. What is photo mode? Or how do you enable it? Is the question. Where is it? Oh, a lot of third party stuff. Will be technology. Ended view. I. I versus head tracking. Oh, performance panel? I didn't know that was in here. Screen. Graphics. Controls. Where's photo mode?
F3. Heel trodden subjects of a boy king. We are yeah. the Raven Clan. Our destiny is our own. Did you know about your father's oath to Harold? I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. But I will not let that. Uh, why? Wait, what are the five essential tips that they have? Use your nav navigation tools. Look for weapons. Spend time building your settlement. Uh, making a center moment a priority. Don't forget your raiding party. In order to get the most of your raids, you'll need a solid team of raiders to help you open your... When building up your settlement, you can customize raiders and lethal force capable of taking down. Yo, I did not know that. It, like, this is pretty sick. Besides me just crashing right there. Um, but I pressed. Uh, <laughs> so I, I I pressed F12 to take a screenshot, and apparently that crashed it. So tip: don't try taking screenshots. Apparently, because I crashed the game. Oh no. Oh no, it might open up. Oh. Okay, it might be good. It's been trying to open up on my other monitor um, the last two times. So maybe it's good now. Very, uh, very cool. Logo, intro. I will say the intro for this game, I think is my favorite intro for an Assassin's Creed game so far. I think it was very, very cool. Crafting materials, barracks, managing your raiding crew in the barracks located in the waterfront of your settlement. Here you'll be able to recruit them, not enough silver. Lord of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is massive and full of craters, and settlement cosmetics, adrenaline, managing stamina, climbing, death blow, weak points. Arrow's colors. He is already marking his territory. Marking? Ah, here we go. John's spring like a horny pup. Okay. Arrow may be young, you but he's doing? clever. You Do not underestimate him. Oh, we have two skill points as well. It's Eivor! Open the door! Come in, but keep your voice down. You will alert Harald's men. Alright, that's okay. Where will we live? Harald may be young. Two days ago, we rid this land of Kyrtva and his dogs. Yet today, we do not celebrate, but it need not be like this. We are not the heel-trodden subjects of a boy king. We are- Did you know about your fa- I did not. And for that, my anger burns hotter than any man's here. Here we go. But I will not let that drive me into despair. We cannot stay in Norway. Not under Harold's boot. Not without fueling more war. So we push forward to newer lands. To England. And there make a new home, a kingdom of our own. The sons of Ragnar Lothbrok have been in England eight winters already. Is there any land left for a clan of our size? More than enough, wife. Of the four kingdoms of England, only one is truly pacified. I have no desire to wear Harald's leash. I like this idea. A saga for the ages, I agree. It will take time and resources to build ourselves a new home, but the riches taken from Kjotve's raid would suffice. No. That belongs to my father, as a fair compensation. In England, we must start anew. You would start us with nothing? In a land we do not know? Among people who hate us? 
Kyotvis' riches would go some way to easing our passage, Sigurd. I bested him. It is within my rights to claim his goods. Our leaving must not be an assault on my father. It is a time of renewal for us. Ah. Uh, take the resources to England. We leave the resources for Seymour. I think we should take it. If we go, we will need all the help we can get. I say we take cut the spoils for our own. I abhor such theft. But if this is what it takes to sway you to my cause, I accept. Styrbjorn will prosper by the generosity of his new king. Kyotvis' goods belong to us. To England, then, before the day is out. Pack what you need, but no more than that. And tighten your lips. The last thing we need is the attention of Harald's troops. Nice. How much did you hear? Enough. A new path is revealed and your journey will be challenging. Will you not join us? For my mother's sake, I cannot. But our threats will cross again before the final day. Until then, farewell. Nice. Speak to Sigurd at the docks. Pretty cool. <laughs> we set sail for England. wind favors us. We should set sail without delay. You made quick work of packing. Well done. The dream of new lands is a powerful lure. As is the promise of glory. But the act of leaving so beloved a home, there is a sadness to it. Having doubts? No, not at all. The die is cast. Then let fate guide our journey. Are you ready? Time to go. I'm ready. Let us tank to the water and leave unbothered while we have the chance. That chance has passed. Look! Fate flies on swifter wings than we. King Harold's banner. Go, go, go. Hop in and go. Uh oh. Sigurd? What is this assembly? What are you planning? An exit, father. As graceful as I can. For if I cannot be king in the land of my birth, I will start a new saga in England. Nonsense. Your place is here, son, at my side. There will be other victories soon, other glories. My choice is made, father. Do not hope otherwise. There's nothing for me here. I must go make my name in the world. And you have plundered Fornberg's resources, I see. You leave nothing behind but your honor. You left me no choice. I entered the Alving a prince. I left the son of a Jarl. There are always choices, Sigurd. I will not stand between you and yours, but I do not accept it. <sighs> Seventeen winters ago... I opened my door to you, Eivor. And now, your only thanks is to rob me? I should have left you to the wolves. Oof. Sad old elk. Do not carry his words with you to England. He brought this day upon himself. I know. Damn. Them some words. <laughs> Sit. <laughs> the time for tears is over, you weeping sacks of wool. Put some muscle into those pools. 
Ration your strength we set dog. sail. We have an ocean to cross. All right, you lazy back routes. Sigurd, what's our course? The songs of Ragnar established hey, a settlement near the coast. We set sail for that. Bragi, sing a song to lift our hood. To rouse the gods! Inspire a mighty fart from Thor to speed us on our way! <laughs> An ocean lies before us, Eivor. And on its far side, a new kingdom awaits. You know England well from your travels. I spent the season in their kingdom of Mercia. A temperate land, lush and wild. By now, the sons of Ragnar will have claimed its heart. Do we mean to join their army? They will join ours. In time, all of England will know of Raven Clan and the glory we brought to that fractured land. So to England! Glory and destiny! To England! To England! Or Valhalla! Yeah. Alright, that's pretty sick. I'm into this. I am, uh, I'm sold. <laughs> it's about a four hour prologue. It's crazy. But it's been worth it so far. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where are we at in modern times? Let's find out. Looks a uh, little different. Best thing I remember is they were being chased, I think, again. And this time, they are like, a starting to assemble a team or something. Is an animal? Oh, shit. She still has it. Somebody else is Dr. here. Oh, well, she has AirPods. Bought you That's more so funny. Oh, new oh, and shit. improved citrus flavor. Thanks, Sean. <sighs> How do we fix this? How are you the key to everything? Oh shit, that's gotta be his, uh... You're a long way from home, Eivor. Hmm. Huh. Eivor's, uh, body. That's crazy. I can't wait to see the Easter eggs in this game. Oh, they're always so cool. Oof. I'd rather walk into town than use this. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, Lakji? How you doing? What's up here? It's 
Beautiful. But that's not normal. I still love these modern sequences, no matter what, man. Even though a lot has changed. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Not yet. To blame her for wanting to walk into town, I'd be disgusted too. Oh shit. Yo, I'm back. Yo, what's going on, yo, back? What was that? Another satellite. Damn. Oh, they shot a satellite down? Or, oh, he probably just burned up. I had to go pick up a sweater for my dog because it's getting hella cold. Aw. <laughs> what kind of dog? My dog goes barking now. Would love to play around, but I have bigger <laughs> things on my mind. Like someone might be home, so let me open the door for her, actually. Not sure on our breed, just the mutt. Oh, okay. Well, it's still cute. <laughs> All goes the Darbo. I, I can't go inside here. Maybe I have to go check out the, uh, what we just saw. Some quality stuff here. Oh, we're just to go through here. Oh, mint tea is not actually tea, Bex. It's an infusion. It's really just dirty minty water. That's Sean from the other it, ones. Sean. Did you buy any? Right? Of course I did, love. The other Assassin's Creed? Assassin's Creed? Hey, game? sorry about pulling Assassin's you out. Assassin's Creed? The generator was game? sputtering. Oh my god, I can't speak. That's fine. I needed air. How was the Animus data stream? Comfortable? Felt pretty stable yep. after a while. Huh. Good. Just give me a sec and you can jump back in. Another satellite came down. Did you see? I did. Takes place one before AC1. Okay. That's good. Cool. Well, most of North America just lost its GPS service, so it depends what you mean by good, really. Right. Even when we win, we lose. Okay, we're all set. Whenever you're ready, you can jump back in. You mind if I put some music on? Go for it. Cool. <laughs> I already did. Apparently, Let's have a look. This is the first game that uh, references COVID. Because apparently they actually talk for like a second in one of these. That's like, uh, oh shit, the Staff of Eden. Sandra 2018. Uh, secure, share my stuff. Pictures. Apparently there's like an email or something that was like, oh, we took a test and it said that they are, uh, calling. they said, oh yeah, I don't have COVID. So you don't need to worry about it. New Spider-Man will reference COVID too. I saw a screenshot with Miles wearing a mask. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. See right here. I don't have COVID, no, and I'm just well isolated as three of us traveling together, staying out of sight. May 2020. Thanks for clearing that up in such a profound detail. I'm sure I'll be sound sweet me now. Your favorite baseball team happened to be Atlantis Eagles. The fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> You have a gift and a curse. The gift will blow. The curse will not understand. We can help you uh, if you help us. What you did is not your fault. Take your responsibility. And we'll, one of us will contact you. If you miss us, you miss your chance. Oh, I'm ready. Good. Your sis L. 
That using our phone is the right way to ease my mind. You have my number, I suggest you call it. Is it COVID? Is that why you're being so cagey? Something else? Call him, call me. Stop this insane game of hide and seek. I just want to know that you're safe. doctor in the other email from Odyssey. Spectrum analysis of a message revealed coordinates to a Norse gravesite in New England. Layla, thought you might be interested in this conversations that Bex and I had with Desmond back in 2012, um, December, I think. Just, uh, candid talks, that's all. We didn't square any circles or write any beat poetry. But he did have some interesting insights into his time in the Animus and what it means to be an assassin. Anyway, have a listen. You might find you and he had similar experiences. So, uh, well, let me know what you think. Unless it's to tell me I sound like a total brat in these recordings. If that's the case, just say nothing. I mean, I <laughs> did have a slight cold at the time I recorded these. That's probably why I sound odd. Anyway, I, I, okay, I'm done anyway. So turn off. Turn off. Oh, it's actually just a button. <laughs> All right, let's see. Is it Nolan North? No, no. Come on, Sean. Yep. Turn that thing off. Oh, hold on. I like what you said there. I want to get this for posterity. Say it again, nice and loud. Uh, seriously? Sure, come on. If nothing else, it'll give me leverage with your old man. Ah, that's your angle. Nice. <sighs> what I said was, I wish I hadn't been born into the assassins. I wish I had chosen this life. Is that good enough? Sure, but why is that? Because, because choice is the central idea of our creed. It underpins everything, right? It's about free will. It's about seeing the evidence before you and saying, yes, this is what I want, or no, this isn't for me. But when you're born into a group like this, or any other, like I was, you get mixed signals. You get told over and over again, this is what we believe. These are the rules. This is reality. No deviation. And if you question it, oh, they look at you like you, like you killed a puppy. That's hardly free will. It's a weird irony when free will is your central belief, but nobody wants you to believe otherwise. I don't know how to say it exactly, but I always thought there was something self-destructive about our creed. If free will is the most important moral guidepost we have, we should be free to ignore it, to choose submission, for example. You know what I mean? Like... We should be free to side with the Templars. If it's really my choice, I could do that. Right. It's almost self-refuting. A democracy could democratically elect a dictator or choose to get rid of democracy altogether. Within our creed is the seed of its own destruction. That's what makes it powerful, I think. And fragile. Right, right. The more freedom you have, the more risky it is, you know? Anyway... My dad has mellowed over the years, but he was strict when we lived on the farm. He ran a tight ship. I never got the impression that I was free to choose my path forward. Our creed, our tenets, they were drilled into my head. By the time I was a teenager, I was following these rules out of a sense of duty. This one's a long this was audio line. just what we did. That happens to cool. a lot of organizations over time. The stagnation sets in, you know? The fundamentalism. Yeah. Following the rules becomes more important than achieving whatever goal you set out for yourself. And people start to lose sight of the reason the rules exist. That's called deontology, or a form of it. Following a rule for its own sake and not for the consequences it has. Yeah, but that feels backwards, doesn't it? Well, I think so. Following <laughs> a rule is the easy part. Praying, taking a sip of wine, munching on a wafer. Rituals that give comfort. But that's just going through the motions. It makes people feel like, like they're doing something. When the hard work is, it's pretty cool well, that they did add something off your like this and in. doing something productive. I think people just want boundaries. 
tight boundaries. They want to see the four walls that pen them in. I don't disagree. Anything outside that? Anything that makes life more complex? That's scary. That's why I envy you. You chose this life. You went through that process and you decided, yes, I believe in this. Sure. It didn't stop me from being an insufferable <laughs> know-it-all as a teenager, but I see your point. I would have loved to have been a know-it-all. I knew nothing. I know well, right when I stop me. it too, it's going to be like yeah. right at the end. It wasn't until I met you and Bex and Lucy that I knew. I knew I wanted to be an assassin. Oh, thanks, Des. Come here. Bring it in, bud. I don't normally like touching, but I'll make an exception now. I am not hugging you. You sure? Because I smell very nice today. Can you just turn that off? <laughs> there it is. There's one more. Hold on, I'll just set Let's this see. here. Do you guys record everything we talk about? Not everything. But I hope this one's using the animus so much. Oh. I thought this was a good chance to learn some things about prolonged exposure. So I'm your guinea pig. No, no, my guinea pigs are all dead. The animus was too much for them to handle cute hmm. can i ask you about the bleeding effect any recent flashes any memories resurfacing yeah the usual things ghost images of altair and Ezio a few times a day nothing intrusive just brief moments they pass quickly almost without me noticing like a figure in the corner of my eye or remembering a dream from the night before i did have one extended hallucination a few days ago it was Ezio. He was older, around the time he left Cappadocia. He was standing on the deck of a ship, alone. And through him, I could feel an intense regret or guilt. And it felt to me like he'd had a, a loss of faith in himself, in the creed, like he couldn't keep it up, couldn't stay true to his ideals. And as I watched him, I thought, is this the moment he decided he was done being an assassin? It felt like it. Anyway, most of my visions have been brief, lasting just a few seconds. They're like complete memories of small moments that appear suddenly out of nowhere, fully formed. It's a strange feeling. Okay, anything else? I'm starting to see Connor now, too. Though I hear his voice more often than I see him. I'm sure that will change. Connor. Oh, yeah. And yesterday, just before bed, I had a memory of being on a beach in the Caribbean with a bunch of sailors. Or maybe they were pirates. I don't know. No idea. Huh. We'll look into that. And how do you feel in general? In general? Well, I feel older, for one. Mm. Much older. I wonder if that was a reference to Uncharted. Comforting. I'm collecting the memories and skills and thoughts of so many people. I feel like I was like a few on the beach when Uncharted 4 ended. Is it possible that if I do this for too long, it'll push my own memories aside? That I'll be everyone but myself after a while? I think it's it was possible. the Black Flag. It's called identity substitution. Uh, I could see that. It's happened before, True. but it's rare. And True. someone with your background shouldn't need to worry. My background? Huh. You mean someone with my genes? My abilities? You have Isu DNA. And that lets you see things and do things and withstand traumas that other people can't. And I can suffer in ways that others can't. That's not something to be proud of. You mean the apple? Yeah. It has a pull, Bex. It I usually don't brain. do it stuff like this. To me, teases me. But Assassin's me Creed dialogue to Lucy. and God damn it. Everything is worth the damage interests I me did. so much. The pain I Lore. caused. I know. All of that about special. Assassin's That's Creed is like I'm not special, Bex. I feed on that. <laughs> I'm lucky. That's all. I understand. We're assassins. It's our creed <laughs> exactly. that makes us different, not our genes, not our blood. This one's a little Anyone bit better than us. the last one. That's true. Too, I'll say. But let's leave that aside for a second. What I want to know is, have you ever had any Isu memories resurface? Isu memories? I don't don't think so. I can't even begin to imagine what that would feel like. I think you'd know if you did. Maybe one day we might be able to induce something. Jesus, let's fix the world first, okay? <laughs> Before we start digging up my ancient ancestors. Deal. 
With my luck, I'll be related to some third-rate Isu like... like Sisyphus or something. <laughs> Way to aim high, buddy. <laughs> hey, you gotta. Good shit. One sec. Just looking up uh, who does the voice actor for... Oh, wow. Huh. Magnus Brunn. Does the voice actor for Avor. Yo, uh, Educator, thank you for the lurk. Also, uh, thank you for the five bits as well. Leave that tab open. Have a good stream. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm actually about to be hopping off here in a second, though, guys. Um, I do gotta say. Because, uh... Oh, shit. I never realized what? Sean is also one of the writers for the Assassin's Creed games. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, he also does the... Plays, I guess, his own character. Or one of the characters that he probably helps write for. Pretty cool. I went through hell to bring you here. <laughs> Literally. It had better be worth it. Literally. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna actually have to save right here. Uh, it's a perfect point anyways, because, uh, yeah, but before we even go back into the, uh, the missions and everything, um, I will be back tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is Veterans Day, so I'm going out with some friends, uh, to get ourselves some meals, you know. I know some of you guys just got back and just got here, sorry. But uh, tomorrow we'll have a longer stream. I was going to go until like 9 o'clock tonight. But my buddy sent me up and they're like, Hey, we're both extremely bored and 